Let's talk a little bit about how we can stretch the piriformis muscle, which is a big contributor for hip and back pain. Now with this, we're gonna show you several different options, depending if you wanna lie down or sit up for it, but give each of them a try and see which one works best for you. The first one we're gonna do is while you're lying on your back. Cross your ankle over your knee and bring that knee towards you. If you ever feel like this is a bit of a stretch for your arms or for your upper back and it feels like too intense of a stretch, a great option is to use a strap of some sort. Here I'm using a stretch strap and putting it behind the thigh and then we're going to do the same thing crossing the ankle over the knee. We'll show you the other leg this time so you can see what this side's doing. And then you use the strap to pull your knee up towards you. It can be much more comfortable. Another option is to keep the leg flat, but when you bring your right knee up, bring that knee towards your opposite shoulder. So my right knee is going towards my left shoulder. Again, here you can use the strap if you want to have a little bit more control and option of how deep of a stretch that you're getting with this. Now we're going to show you the seated versions of these. You can sit up, cross your ankle over your knee, and hinge forward from your hip, keeping your back nice and straight as you go forward. This should all be coming from your hip to get that stretch. What we want to avoid is any sort of rolling through the back or slouching into the stretch.